Hey guys, Chelsea here with Gent Sense. I have a guest on today. His name is Ash. I don't know if you've ever met him or seen him or heard of him, but we're going to do a blind smell test today. So I have 10 different fragrances laid out here. Each of them are the most popular fragrance from their house, according to Fragrantica. We're going to do a tournament. All right, so we're gonna do a tournament. Uh, Fragrantica's most popular from 10 houses or whatever, let's do it. Yeah. All right, I am waiting for whatever. First two, I'm gonna show the people out there you can't know. So we've got this one versus this one. And the opening of fragrance one. <laughs> All I hear is bottles going clank, 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 clank. And the opening of fragrance two. I almost, <laughs> I thought I was gonna stab myself in the eyeball and then actually just <laughs> hit the thing. All right, so fragrance one. It's got some sweetness I'm not jiving with. Mm. It's not tickling my pickle in a very good way. Okay. Number number two, and I'm not gonna say what these fragrances are, even though I'm like 99% sure. I mean, they are. they are like the you know yeah. the most popular one from each of these extremely popular houses. Yeah, I don't know. Do I ruin the whole thing if I just say what it is? I mean, I don't think so. I mean, if you know, you know, right? I mean, right, that's what they say. Yeah, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. I'm taking Prada, yeah. You think the second one is, is Prada? Yeah. Prada what? Well. Oh, you're right, it is. Okay, yeah, I'm taking that <laughs> all day. It's it's dunking on the first one. It's like doing the old Halo tea bag. It's just like, mm, mm, so much better. All right, so Here's Prada Loam, moving on. Will you keep, well, no. Yeah, otherwise I'm gonna have like. All right, on to the second battle. I'm gonna show you guys out there the two next ones. Oh, we should do something uh, where you hand me the bottle and I have to feel the bottle and tell what it is <laughs> with my hands. No, that um, some of these would actually be extremely Extremely easy. Dry down of the first one, opening of the first one. All right, so the first one that he had was this one. All right, I've got the dry down of the second one and the opening, which for all you people watching out there is this one. These are really different. Yeah, there is fall, winter, summer. There's all sorts of stuff in here. I keep like holding like this. So the first one's really citrusy fresh, like green slightly, it smells really nice. And the second one, much more warm, ambery, almost like a little touch of powder. I like number one more. Oh, really? Yep. Uh, I'm kind of surprised on that. Yeah, I mean, they're both really good. Yeah, the first one wasn't a shocker to me, but this one almost kind of is a little bit. So the next two are these two. Pretty, pretty different fragrances. First one, this one, and number two, so number one smells like Eros. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that one's easy. Yeah, I mean, it's it's Eros. Yeah, number two, we're going back into a uh, spicy realm. Spicy and warm, a little, a little bit sweet. Mm -hmm. Not as sweet as Eros. What are you doing is weird. <laughs> <laughs> do I do that? I might. Oh, you do uh, all sorts of stuff. Like afterwards, and I'm like, you know, either editing or watching the video or something, you're like waving your hands in front of my face. And honestly, like at the time, I had no idea. Yeah. This is one of those situations where it's like six half dozen for me. The second one is more along the lines of what I typically go for, and I have an idea of what it is, but I don't want to say it because I don't want to be wrong. What is it? No! <laughs> <laughs> so between the two, uh, I'm going to lean uh, this one. Number one. Correct. Oh, you were you were starting to maybe waft the other direction, and I was starting to be like, no. oh, is there going to be no. a little... Hmm. No. Okay, Eros. I mean, this is a really nice one, mm -hmm. but um, Eros, uh, over the years, I've worn a lot more of. So, I mean, I can't really uh, go against it because I myself have worn it more. So, it's kind of like I've, I've already made the choice in the past. You know what I mean? It's a classic. At this point, yeah. Mm -hmm. Next matchup, these two. I've got Dry Down here of fragrance number one. And then here's the opening. That's like a smack in the nose. Mm -hmm. I have like no spatial awareness. I just keep sticking the tester strips <laughs> like all over the place. And fragrance number two. There's the dry down and then the opening. Oh no. <gasps> Mm -hmm. Oh Lord. Yeah, I actually, um, when I got them out and I was kind of looking at the mat potential matchups, I put those two together on purpose. Yeah, back of the knee. Mm-hmm. The one. Yep. 
And I know in the past you've talked about both of them uh, pretty highly, so. Yeah. Well, Tobacco Vanilla I knew right away because it smacked, like, just punched me right in the face. Yeah. And it's like so, ugh, you know, like fruity tobacco. Yeah. More so fruits initially there than vanilla. And I mean, I did a solid three sprays of that one on yeah. the tester strip. I, I could so. tell. I mean, that was honestly, out of everything I've smelled so far off the strip, that's the strongest one and it's not close. Yeah. And then the one, it hit me and I was like, yeah, I know that. But then it took a second. And then when the opening came, I was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. God, oh, this is going to get me crucified. I'd rather wear the one. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, I love tobacco vanilla, but yeah. it's like, it's it's coming across off the strips. And I know this is like, you know, off skin it's different, but off the strips, like smell it, it's way more strong. Mm -hmm. And I smell the one, it's like really sexy kind of. Yeah, it, it really is. I mean, that one's a super good like date night fragrance. Yeah. I mean, it's it definitely is gonna be one that you could wear way more often than the Tom Ford. I love the Tom Ford, but all the ones that I picked out, I was like, ah, any of these can really like match up against each other. But those two, I specifically, I was like, ugh, <sighs> I'm gonna match those two up just because. Oh my God, stop! <laughs> and we are going with these two. First one. All right, and the second one. Here is the dry down, and then I've also got oh. the opening. Muy bueno, me gusta. Most popular according to Fragrantica. Right. Guilty Absolute. Yep, no, that's correct. Man, that's like, that kicks you. I love it. This one is Man in Black. Yep, that is correct. Because it's like Spice Bomb, but sweeter. Mm -hmm. Sweet Bomb. <laughs> Sweet Bomb. Oh. <sighs> is this another hard one yes. for you? I would rather wear Man in Black. Okay. I would rather smell Guilty Absolute. Well, what are you going to go with? Wear or smell? I don't know. <laughs> that's what, I don't know. I hate this. Like, I can never make a decision. Man in Black. Yeah, I, uh, that's it's another. Like a, it was the same issue that I was having with tobacco vanilla. Yeah, it's another kind of surprise. I figured well, you would kinda. do the, the Gucci Guilty Absolute. Well, no, no, it's like the opposite. Like, ah, whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Round number two are going to consist of these two. Here is number one. I've got the dry down and the opening both. And you have obviously smelled these before, so they should be familiar. Yes, yes. And here is fragrance number two, dry down and opening both. It smells really good off a tester strip. Bang! Ooh. Ooh. This is a weird one because I know that the tester strip is kind of lying to me a little bit. It's like um, being in a relationship with somebody that's really hot, very sexy, and, and you know they're lying to you about things. But it's like, do I overlook this because you're hot? That's what this is. Hmm. This one is like, you know what you're in for. Mm -hmm. it, it's solid. Mm -hmm. Everything is copacetic. It's not lying to you. So which one do you stick with? I personally go with the second one. <laughs> I feel like this is some weird sick joke. Mm-hmm. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. You're taking number two? I'm taking it. Oh. All right. Okay, so next matchup. These two. Sorry, I handed That's that right. in a really weird way. And the opening. And this is the fragrance. All right, and the one it's going up against. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's got to be this one. That's quick. Oh, okay. It is what it is. Yeah. So the second one I handed you. Yes. Still, shout outs to uh, Versace. All right. So since we got three left, I am just going to give you all three and let you rank them, you know. One, Willy two, nilly. One, two, and three. Or that. Yeah. All right. All right. So here is the dry down and the opening of this one. First fragrance I'm handing you. Dry down and opening of the second fragrance. And dry down and opening of the third fragrance. <laughs> Only one can come out on top. Third. So the first one I handed you is coming in third. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go number two. All right. So this one is number two. All right. So I don't know if you've known the entire time what it was, but you picked this one as your number one. The most popular from the house? Yep. That's Otre Fresh. This is Terra de Mrez. <laughs> Isn't this the normal one? No. <laughs> yeah, Otre Fresh. That says on this right there. <laughs> this is what happens when I do video concepts and get all the fragrances out myself and spray them all and do the whole thing myself. This is this is what happens. It's okay. 
It's still Terra Dermez. Yeah. It's just a play anchor. Oh, Lana, we lost. You know what's weird? Uh, a lot of these I could pick up right away, and I've smelled Lana Weed alone a million times, and I didn't pick that one up right away. Yeah, it got knocked out pretty quick. I feel like I should have gotten this one easier because of the cardamom. Yeah, it, it went bye-bye yeah. pretty quickly. I mean, it still would have lost because mm -hmm. I like Otre Fresh more. Man, Otre Fresh off a tester strip is something else. That smells really good. Yeah, I can't believe I picked up the wrong one. I'm the whole time sitting here thinking that I've just got the original like nah, Terra see the, the white top? It's okay that you picked the wrong Terra Dermez. These things happen. It needs to be more clearly marked on the bottle. So there we go. The most popular fragrances from 10 houses. The winner, not the most popular fragrance from that house. It's actually a flanker. So that was a plot twist. <laughs> yeah. Everybody watching was like, that's not the right one <laughs> the whole time. Thank you for hanging with us here and I'll uh, see you again another time.